big as Volkswagens and all that. Just, you know what I'm saying? Those are metaphoric things. Amen. Amen. But just like Adam lost his state of mind, John, it said in Revelation 1.10, he said, I was in the spirit. And then he was able to explain the Son of Man that was listed as candlesticks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you get in the book of Revelation, in order to die, said you got to be in spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's just for somebody who just thought about it. <laughs> so we need Numa. We need Ruah. Mm -hmm. We need the spirit of the day. We need to have the inspiration of the spirit. Now the word spirit is the Greek word Numa. Mm -hmm. Right? This word expresses mm -hmm. the character of the Holy Spirit found in man, which gives him the ability to think as the Father. Y'all got that? It is man's vertical window. See, we don't, we're not used to the vertical window. We're used to the horizontal window. All of our judgment is based on perception and what we see. Y'all get it? It's not about uh, the vertical window. That's why in Scripture, it's always calling us up. Am I right? Anything that's done from Genesis to Revelation of people... I don't care if it was Moses, if it was Ezekiel, they had to be brought up to a higher level of understanding. Amen. Yes, so there's a vertical window. Tell your neighbor a vertical window. Vertical vertical window. And it's to view what is around him from a heavenly understanding. It refers to the life principle, a disposition, an internal design framework which defines a person's way of life. It also speaks of a person's inward motivation or influence or natural tendency or a certain temperament. Tell your neighbor, certain temperaments. Certain temperament. That is your proclivities to operate a certain way. From spirit. And out from that, there's a framework, an internal design. We call it the mind of Christ. I mean, the mind of Christ is our framework. I mean, it's the relay switch for us to engage the things of the spirit. That's why we have to be renewed where? Right. In the spirit of our mind. There's the, you know, there's an unrenewed mind. So a person's inward motivation or influence or natural tendency or certain temperament. Hmm. So I had to interpret all those big words. And let me give it to you. I'll give this to you. Because uh, I didn't want to get it up there. And I don't want to buy it. I'm going to give this to you. Well, you can probably get it on replay. Therefore, the spirit of man is the seat, center, core. The vital element and principle of any man's, oh no, any man's relational, irrational, or immortal life. It is the primary container of our mental, moral, and emotional activities, and it is our inherent nature. So my inheritance is sustained, and or should I say, known by and sustained by my ability to become spirit